See, a cat can roll himself around your leg, right? Mm -hmm. But a cat is completely flexible and the horse is not. So they're either, they move this way. What they do is they bend in the middle right under the saddle. Okay. 12, 13, 14 dorsals bend. Okay. okay? And then they tilt the body. Okay. Right? So they fan their withers out like this. So the axis of their thorax, so this is the withers, this is the sternum, right? So when he's bent left, he's going to do that. The withers are going to go left, okay. and the sternum are going to go right, sorry, and the sternum is going to go left. Okay. There's your whip. Right? Yeah, okay. So it lifts the inside. Okay? That is when the horse bend with his back up and his ribs move in. Right? Yeah. So because nobody wants to understand that by bending a horse without a saddle looking at it, right? Yeah. Or they have horses who don't flex, then they say, oh, but the belly has got to go to the outside. Well, the belly can only go to the outside if the back is dropped down. Oh, so if it's hollow. So if it's hollow, oh. it can do this. Okay. We don't want that. No, you don't. <laughs> and, and, and people will tell you that, oh, but when I do a half pass, the inside goes down. Well, if you take a picture of the horse's back, it's hollow. Hmm. Right? Okay. So if you follow the recommendation, which is to bend the horse around your inside leg, which means push the ribs out, Okay, and sit on the inside, you drop the inside down. And I want to have the inside up. And you want to have the inside up. And so when you actually do a half pass, we got a film yesterday of somebody that was having a real problem with a half pass, and she exaggerated being on the outside, and I let her do it, right? You go down on the outside, and it lifts your inside. So I need to do, so instead of going... If I'm going to the right, instead of having my weight on my right leg, I want my weight on my left leg. You got it. So that's just the opposite of how I need. Right. <laughs> but now, this is what, this is what happened, okay. is that when you bend the horse right, well, everybody understands it in the canter, because when you canter, if you take a picture of your inside leg, it's like this. If you take a picture of your outside leg, it's like this, mm -hmm. right? Because in the canter right, the horse has got a bend of the, of the spine a slight bend of the spine, okay. right? And he's lifting you on the inside, okay. right? Now, when the book says you want to sit on the inside, right. right, it is nearly correct. You want to be seated passive on the inside, which is different than sitting okay. on the inside. You lost me there. Okay. When you say you want to be, you want to sit on the inside right. of the bend. Right. Okay. This is true and false. It is true because if the horse lift is inside, he will end up carrying you with his inside. Uh -huh. Because if the inside is higher, right. he will carry you there. Okay. But that's if you're passive. You let him do it. You okay. follow me so far? Yes. Okay. But if you sit on the inside actively, you will push it down. Okay. So let him let, sit over there, but you let him carry you over there. But don't sit over there. Let him carry you over there. Carry me over there. Right? So in, uh, in essence, you really don't want to think about it. You just want to let it be. That's right. Okay. So you don't it happens with the horse. Now, if you'd watch the... Uh, if you watched my lesson on the, on the other Lusitano yesterday, right? Through the lesson, he ended up being so much bent that the saddle was like this on the inside, hmm. to the left, and only a little bit to the right, because he had less bent to the right, right? And then out of me letting him bend that way, both ways, his back got higher and higher. Huh. Okay. He was lifting because he got rounder. Okay. Because if they bend properly to the left, then to the right, their back lifts, which is what you want. Now it takes to have a saddle that's long and flat for that to happen, right? And it takes that you let them do it. So how you let them do it is that you tip a little bit to the outside. Now once a little bit, 
is this. Just this. Tip. Just a tiny bit. Right? So if I'm going right. You get to go right. I tip a little bit to the outside. No, that's. You know, first of all, you've got to be stiff and straight. Okay. So when you do that, your left leg comes under the. I'm exaggerating okay. here. Okay. Your left leg comes under the horse. Okay. Did she weight the left stirrup? She pushed the left stirrup w under the horse. Okay, okay. The more you push the left stirrup under the horse, the more you're pulling his withers to the left. And that's for the right half pass. That's for the right bend. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So this is bending the horse. Okay. okay. See? Yeah. Bending the horse. That's okay. Sticky, and you're holding his you're holding his sternum underneath. Okay. You're holding his sternum underneath. Okay. Right? Okay. Now he's bent right. Yeah. See? The more you do that, the more he bends right without doing anything else. Okay. Okay. You follow that? Yeah. Okay. Well, I felt it. I don't follow it. I felt it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then he's trying to lift your right leg. Yes, he is. Okay. Right? I really felt that. That's the position of the right bend. Okay. Okay. So, wow. So I have to be a lot more over to the left then. That's right. Wow. That's the bend. Okay. okay? So, if you do a circle, a shoulder in, or a half pass, the bend is the same. Okay. Yeah, okay. Nothing changes okay. for the bend. Okay. So, this is your bend position. I want to try that at the walk. Okay. This is your bend position. Okay. Okay? Okay. And you don't need to have, you don't need to have your leg hold these quarters. Okay. Okay? okay. You only have to that. have is, is your leg hold the rib cage. Okay. Okay? okay. And your left leg can be stronger because it flattens the outside. The holes become flat on the outside, okay. right? Your inside leg has got to become softer so the horse can lift you. Okay. And they're very timid. Okay. See, if you... See, now he's lifting you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you press on it, exactly. he won't do it. Exactly. Okay. Okay? okay? Then you have to remember you've got all your weight at the place where the horse bends, which is the middle of the back. So he's already not encouraged to do it. That's why the cut, see, I mean, this is the uh, all other discussion, but I was the first one to make sounds that were very big and flat, mm -hmm. precisely because I wanted that. Okay. You know, okay. 30 years ago, sounds were not made like that except mine. Okay. They were like little county, which had... They were bananas. They were bananas. Yeah. And those bananas would punish the horse's back terribly. Okay? Okay. okay. So that's bend, right? Okay. Now, if I want, 